Greetings, my friends. Thanks for stopping by on this Friday night. Long time no see. Haven't done any videos in, what, about two weeks? Um, I just didn't want to do a video when I really didn't have anything to show you or update you on. But I knew you would be missing this little guy. Check him out. Buddy, you haven't seen him in a month, probably. Um, I guess, uh, oh, I've got a new... Uh, bedspread and duvet cover right down here so it covers up those crates under the bed it's kind of a tie-dye looking blue I wanted to change it up in here I got tired of the old red you know so I need a splash of wild in my life <laughs> so we got buddy and a tie-dye looking bedspread what are you gonna do uh, I want to show you a few things that I've got lately um, the new electric blanket check it out get them at Walmart 12 volt plug it into your 12 volt cigarette lighter style port it's got high low and off there's no timer on it so if you cut it on and go to sleep it's gonna stay on until you turn it off unless your battery dies I found that out because I fell asleep one night this is a new one I used to have a black and white one and it died it died last week and we're about to have the coldest weather I have ever dealt with you might hear my voice is a little hoarse that's because of two reasons um, I was on the phone all day at work and the other is I think the weather's getting to me but I feel fine no fever or anything like that but the old electric blanket died on me it, I guess it lasted about a year. They're only ten or fifteen dollars. Last time I paid ten. This time I paid fifteen. This one seems to be a little thicker, and I like the red plaid. But uh, it's not quite as big as a regular blanket. It's about forty by sixty. But I just use it at the foot of the bed. That's all I use mine for. I like to get in the bed uh, when the foot's nice and warm. And then, uh, you know, I never let it go over an hour unless I fall asleep or something. But I thought I better stop at Walmart tonight after work and get a new one because starting tonight and going for the entire next week, we're going to be in single digits at night, like five degrees Fahrenheit. You know, that's the coldest I've dealt with. Uh, the last two winters, being in the van... The coldest was, I think, 15 or 17. I can't remember. But that wasn't bad at all. You know, I did fine. That was back before I even had the electric blanket. But I was disappointed that it stopped working so soon. But 10 bucks is what I paid for it. And I got about a year out of it. And I don't think you can wash these things. I would just take it out and hang it out in the sun so you want it to die every year anyway so you just toss it and get another one i guess but um let's see what else i want to update you on the cargo rack and the swing away hitch everything came in uh, i got a nice aluminum cargo rack i had to put it together it took two hours all these little bolts and nuts and everything but it'll never rust it'll last for many years and i got a good swing away hitch from Kuat, K-U-A-T. They specialize in products for mountain bikes. You know, people like to carry their mountain bikes on the back of their vehicle. But this one is the heavy duty one. It'll hold like 250 pounds worth of stuff. And all I'm gonna have is probably about 60 pounds worth of stuff back there. So it swings out on the driver's side, which is great because I hardly ever open that driver's side door with a fan in it. The one you have to open first is on this side to get to that door, to get it open. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if someone made a swing away that would swing toward the driver's side so you could completely open up the passenger barn door back here? You know, because most people with the swing away hitch will tell you, even when you swing it all the way out, one of those doors is going to touch it. And if I'd have got the one that swung away toward the curb, 
passenger side, I would have run into that problem. So uh, I haven't hooked anything up yet, and here's why, because my cargo box and my generator and all that stuff is still down at my dad's house. So I thought, why even put the rack on until I go down there in March? So I've just got it stored away in the corner at work in the warehouse, and it'll sit there until March, the day before I head down to see my dad for a week. And uh, I've got a few other things. Be right back. Okay, so I'm only heating with butane now. I still have my buddy heater. Uh, let me get over here. Right here. But I'm never using it. I'm using this stove here. Remember I showed you the little uh, heater thing. Uh, might as well grab it again for the new people. Okay, so there's a little radiator that I put on top of the stove. I put the stove down here in the floor in front of the buddy heater because I want it down in the lowest position since heat rises. These cans, you can get them in a bulk pack of 12 for about $2, sometimes less per can. Good deal. But here's the problem. These things freeze at about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 28. So what you have to do you can still use them, but only a little bit comes out. So you have to heat them up. How do you do that? That's where this comes in. Put your can on the electric blanket. It heats it up in just a few minutes. Thaws it out enough where you can use it. Problem solved. That's what had kept me from using butane for so long. Was they freeze so quickly. You don't have to worry about that with propane. You know, you can use propane when it's zero degrees. But the propane that comes out of the buddy heater, it's, it has some sort of a... Sometimes you get a good batch of propane and sometimes you don't. You know, uh, sometimes it has a smell to it. Sometimes it irritates your eyes. Sometimes it increases condensation. But I'm telling you, the butane doesn't. This can, I tested it. This one can lasts as long as a green bottle of propane. If you run it on low on this stove, four to five hours out of this one can, that's what you get out of a green bottle on low on a buddy heater. All right. All right, so some updates on my escape plan. Uh, my original plan was to leave on April 1st. Um, you know, I said I was probably not going to be able to make that goal because I found out I have something that I'm going to sell before I leave that's going to set me up for a long time of travel. Looks like the deal is going to happen, but it's not going to happen until late April. So now I'm just going to push my goal back till May the 1st, just a month more. I got to be honest with you, it, it makes my stomach cramp, the anxiety and the anticipation of doing this. So knowing that I've got another month past what my original goal was, I would be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed and I'm not anxious to the point of where I'm just about to go crazy. Um, work is as difficult as it's ever been and it's not just psychological. It's not because, well, Maddie, you're, you're just thinking that because you're so close to the, your end game. You're so close to to making the goal, it just seems that work is driving me crazy. <laughs> but uh, I've got to deal with it until late April. So you can, you can just imagine why. That's really not the reason I didn't make any videos for the last two weeks. Um, it's because I didn't want to get on here and bitch and moan and complain because you got to look on to the future, you know, it's just another month. I'm not going to cry about that, even though it is, is very disappointing, just because I'm naturally an anxious person anyway, you know. And uh, I guess my final thought for the evening, and we'll wrap it up, is a person has to have something in life to look forward to. If you don't have something to look forward to, either, either a near future or far future, something you kind of just decay inside, you know, you just, you just die away. So I guess, uh, at least I had that, you know, to look forward to and always 
anytime I get down, I have to compare myself to others in the world. I have got it so good. I got Buddy back there. I got a nice, crazy looking bedspread. I got a van that's paid for. It's set up nicely for travel. Everything's budget minded. Uh, I keep as minimal as I can. I've got it made and I'm very thankful for that. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, checking in and take care. Be well. Smash the bell.